guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 9 of Asteroid and Love. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Chris? But they need to talk to her parents about it, and then meet his parents as well. I'm gonna be positive. I think something really good is gonna come from this. It's just convincing their parents. That's the biggest thing is what we're all thinking about right now. Because how in the world are you gonna convince your parent? And then what if it doesn't work out? Like let's just say this. Let's say I was able to move in and they get into arguments. I mean, oof. Big oof. Come here, Cody. There you go. True. She deserves this. She deserves to be happy. Of course. I know, she's putting up welcome gifts and everything. <laughs> it's not time yet, Mira.
Thank God. I mean, is it that important to put it in the newspaper? <laughs> You know what I'm really better than nice about this episode? If we got to see the conversation between their families, instead of it being, okay, here's a text message and ish, and then just skipping the whole entire conversation. I get the fact is it's not that important to show, but as someone who really likes to see certain things with other families and everything, it would have been nice, but I get it. It's time consuming and you have to take certain things out. If it's not that important, then it's just like, Hey, it happened on the side, and we all know it went great. <laughs> Only you, Susan. She'll sometimes be able to come home. Bikini by Suzu, what the fuck? Not him chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> she meant friendship chocolate. It's okay. At least you got something, though. You can still give her chocolates. You're supposed to be cute. Especially if you want to fill them with something else besides just pure chocolate. You want to put like maybe some chocolate and some peanut butter in there. Reese's up in that edge. Maybe some almonds or some, I I'm not one for this, shaved coconut. I mean, that's disgusting. Um, crispy rice. You can put so many things in chocolate just to make it so much better. Oh. 
So cute. Hey, did you eat? Oh my god. Mita, you wasn't supposed to eat it all in one go. You were supposed to savor the moment with the chocolate. Like, oh my god. girl was like, yep, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat it now, shit. Go on, Susu. I would have loved to see what she said, but oh, you just got it at the wrong moment. Yeah, and you'll still be able to see them whenever you want, but even though you gotta pay money, but still.
Is it weird that this feels like the... <laughs> oh. As I was saying, is it weird to feel like this is the last episode? <laughs> Look at her. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. That's a perfect picture. <laughs> I've only, you know, did it at 10 instead of 5 for baby. <sighs> you sure? already their first fight I told you <laughs> oh my god I knew what was gonna happen but I didn't think of what happened in this episode I was thinking in episode 10 that they would have gotten to their first official fight It's okay. Yeah. On your first day, though, I mean, oof. I thought it would be at least, like, day 10, 20, or 30 that they would have officially argued. Not the first day of day. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Oh. Oh, me. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. I don't think you're as klutzy as you were in the beginning, but it's okay. You're probably still klutzy, but not as much. Uh, you know, still you know. <laughs> Is it too high? Oh, oh, so you're one of those types who just doesn't like sugar in it. Okay, I'm someone who, I, I gotta have sugar in my coffee. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh, she's pretty. That's um That's a piece of Kara's sister, right? But it makes me wonder who the other girl is. But that has to be Sakura's little sister. It'd be interesting to like because of the fact is I think we're very close to the end of this show and since both um, Sakura and Monoe are now gone and you're adding two new girls how much screen time are you going to give these two new girls? That's the biggest thing. With, I think, what? This show's going to have like 12 to 13 episodes so by next week we'll be either into the final two or the final three weeks for this show and like I said, it is a little weird to add two new characters into this show and I like the fact that they find, I, I don't know were they in this happened last week? Because I don't really remember. I would have to look at last week's episode and then this week's. Um, but it's still a little weird to add these two new characters because I was assuming that it just would have been them for a little while longer and then maybe an episode or two the new girls would come in. But the fact is that the new girls are coming at the end of this episode going along into the following episode. I'm not saying it's feeling rushed, but I get the fact that they want to go ahead and put them in now instead of waiting until next week. But that's my only little nitpick for this episode. It was still good. I mean, I kind of wish we got to see a little bit more in the graduation instead of just like, you know, coming into the club room, she's there and everyone's like, congratulations on graduating and stuff. I thought it would have been um, essentially a little more heartwarming and heartfelt like Kayon was, especially with that last episode for season two, because I mean, from my reaction of it, if you hadn't seen it, I was hella emotional during the last few episodes because I was like, oh my god, like they're leaving my best girl, and I'm so sad because it's just her at the end of the day, and it's not gonna be all five of them, it's just gonna be one after this. But with the fact is that, um, Mono Senpai was is literally my best girl, and Eno's my second best girl. I felt some type of way. I felt happy for one, but then sad for the other because, you know, they're not all going to be together anymore. Two are going off to college, and it makes me wonder if we're kind of going to see them in not really a whole episode. I would like to have a whole episode, but because of the fact is it is Mira's and Al's show, I'm not 100% sure they're going to really do that, but if they ever wanted to do, like, um, a mini spinoff of the show, like, uh, Late Back Camp is doing with Hand Camp, then that would be fine. And if they wanted to do it, I, I would suggest don't make it three minutes. Make it at least, like, ten minutes. Make it half. Like, don't make a full-length episode. Just, like, ten to fifteen minutes. I think that would be better instead of essentially, like, saying, okay, here's three to five minutes of a mini episode of theirs. Like, when I think of a mini episode, I don't think of three minutes. I mean, I, I and it's the thing that I have, I've been, like, Oh god, like hard on Hey I Camp for the last few weeks, even the first freaking week, because I was thinking with most of the shows, the short series that I've watched in um in the past, like um the Are You Lost show, the drinking anime show, uh it's Sue Sue something where the girl moves from one from one place to Tokyo and she moves into this um this house with three other girls who also like to drink and stuff like that, and then the trying the lesbian anime and a whole bunch of other ones that are very like 10 to 15 to maybe 12 minutes 
that to me that's good but like a three to five minute show and trying to do it very very quickly it feels like you're still leaving a lot of unanswered questions and a lot of unanswered stuff out and I still condemn like hey I can't for doing that but still for me like I think and I and I think I should have did this when I um when I watched like the very first episode of Hey Agamp, and I think I said I was gonna do it, but I opted out of it like I think a couple of days before episode two came out was I was going to wait until every single episode of Hey Agamp came out and just reacted to them all together, back to back to back. So then I would have been like, okay, here's one long video, but no, nah, I think it's fine because it's like three minutes, but still, yeah, I, I think it would be a really interesting idea just to see, you know, um. Manano Senpai and Sakura Senpai um, at college and seeing how they're doing and stuff. But if they're going to do an episode where they go visit them, then that's cool too. It's just really up to them at the end of the day. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 9 of Asteroid and Love. If you guys enjoyed it, believe, give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 10. Bye, guys!